Meteorologist Chris Spears is covering Colorado's weather tonight. And Chris, beautiful day, but we've got a storm moving in. Yeah, and you can see that cloud cover on the increase out there, but it was another mild one. We made it to the middle 60s. Most of you started in the 30s. We were 41 here at CBS4, still above normal and nowhere near the records of 75 and minus 2. Let's dive right into the storm making its approach. You notice it splits into two pieces. Some of the energy goes across Wyoming. Some of the energy dives down into Arizona and New Mexico. Colorado kind of smashed in between. This is why we don't expect a major storm because the energy is kind of being torn into two different locations. We do have a couple of rain showers developing out ahead of the approaching weather system. Most of that will stay in Wyoming tonight, but if you're heading north of Denver, don't be surprised to run into a few sprinkles and westbound into the high country. You could run into a little bit of light snow tonight. On future cast, we show those potential showers out there with a little snow in the high country, some fog on the eastern plains tonight. Monday is a mostly cloudy day for Denver and the Front Range Urban Corridor. It's not until sunset that we'll really start to see some precipitation develop. We're expecting rain along the Front Range, snow in the foothills, and then a pretty quick changeover to snow in Metro Denver. But you notice most of the precip in southern Colorado, we've always thought south central Colorado would bear the brunt of this storm system, and it does look like that will be the case. Here are statewide snow totals, mostly light in the northwest mountains, a few inches. Uh, Denver area, I'll zoom in here in a minute and show you that closer, but we're watching the south central part of the state for potential higher totals, and there's a winter storm watch due to the uncertainty for our south central mountains, parts of the Sangre de Cristos and the eastern San Juans. Here's Denver's future cast, maybe a sprinkle tonight. It would be light, but rolling on to tomorrow about this time, that's when rain is expected uh, to develop, and it quickly will mix with and change to snow by about 10, 11 o'clock at night. But notice this, 2 a.m., it's already coming to an end. It's a very short window of precipitation. So another reason we aren't expecting huge totals. If, if we're lucky, one to three inches on grassy surfaces along and south of Interstate 70, probably no snow or little snow north toward Fort Collins and Greeley. See the little pocket in the foothills, a little six, uh, four to eight inch pocket possible in our foothills tomorrow. A fog advisory tonight on the far eastern plains if you're doing some overnight travel. It'll be mild due to the cloud cover and the wind, mostly 20s and 30s tomorrow. Cooler as this weather system moves through. 40s up high, 50s east and west. Here's the five-day forecast, Kathy. So tomorrow, a cool, cloudy day. Rain changing to snow tomorrow night. It's out of here Tuesday. Another quick little system Wednesday into Thursday. And then as we roll into Easter, you remember yesterday I told you sunshine and looking good? Yeah. Now it looks like we may have showers on oh, Easter. Wow. So we got to watch that for you, too. But all in all, not a bad forecast. We welcome this precip. Yes, we do. Bring it on. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. Sure. And we'll be right back.